Hi, good morning, everyone. Today's lesson is The Legend of the Christmas Tree by Micaiah Ali. Christmas, a long time ago, a man walking through the forest looked up and saw the stars shining through the tree branches. It was so beautiful that when he returned home, he tried to recreate the beauty for his family with evergreen trees and candles. Do you guys put up trees at your house? As you can see, our tree is very simple with lots of lights. Do you know the meaning of Christmas tree decorations? Well, Usually trees have stars or angels on them. A star on top of the tree represents the star of Bethlehem that guided the three wise men to baby Jesus when he was born. If you have an angel on top of your tree, that symbolizes the angels who appeared uh, the night Jesus was born that announced to everyone that Jesus was born. Um, lights and candles represent how Jesus is the light of the world. Gifts under the tree represents the gifts the wise men gave to Jesus. Or it could mean the gift of Jesus. Evergreen trees represents the eternal life Christians get when they are baptized and that is it. <laughs> um, the origin of Christmas trees uh, originated um, in Germany during the 16th century, and it spread throughout the world when Germans immigrated to different countries, and it became adapted and changed throughout different cultures. That's all for now. Bye! So our first tree is a traditional tree. It has the three primary Christmas colors, which usually is red, gold, and green. And it has a star on the top and presents at the bottom, which you usually find at most Christmas trees. So for this Christmas tree, it's much smaller than our last one, but it still follows the three primary Christmas colors, which is red, uh, green, and gold. And this one has candy canes, which is a popular Christmas candy that kids usually get during Christmas time. Uh, this one has a uh, Santa and it has stockings hung up at the fireplace. And it has a nice bright red star with presents at the bottom. This Christmas tree is much different from the last Christmas trees we saw. This one has an angel on it. It also has really pretty ribbons and red ornaments. It also has an ornament that kind of looks like a candle or glass. Some people also like to have themes for the trees, like for this tree. This tree is like a mannequin or Barbie themed tree. Uh, it can come in many different colors and sizes. And as you can see, this one 
is red and gold which is really pretty and another one which is has all white with like an angel isn't that cool they can also be disney themed trees like this one this one is like a disney villain it's also really colorful and it reminds you of the movie sleeping beauty This next tree is Lego themed. Isn't that cool? It has a whole bunch of paper, ribbons, and Lego heads as ornaments. That's really cool. And it has Legos for a star. Whoever has this tree must really like pink. This tree is a really simple but really pretty tree. It has really simple white, silver, and gold ornaments with a clear looking ribbon on it. Meanwhile, the tree itself is pink. If you like unicorns, this tree is definitely for you. It's a white tree that's covered with unicorn faces on it. It also has a lot of different pretty lights and um, ornaments on it that make it look really cool. This tree is different from all the trees that, I, that we've seen today. It's covered in candy. How cool is that? I know that this tree is from a famous mall in Europe, and it has a different theme every year. Isn't that so cool? This tree is very popular in America. It's the National Christmas Tree in Washington, D.C., right next to the White House. Every year, the president has a tree lighting ceremony for the tree, and it is amazing. Look at all the pretty lights and all the pretty stars in the picture. I'm sure anyone who gets to see that is really lucky. This tree is really pretty. It looks like kind of like golden branches or vines on the tree with a really pretty blue star at the top. It also kind of looks like it's floating. That's really cool. I wonder where this tree is from. Christmas ornaments can come in a variety of shapes, sizes, colors, and even materials. There can be glass ornaments or plastic ornaments, and you can find them almost anywhere.
Ornaments can even be themed, like this one, Santa Claus with a mask, or these ornaments made out of gingerbread. Cool! You could even have a traditional pickle ornament that really comes from the Germans who also started the Christmas tree tradition. Yes, pickles. And I know it sounds weird, but it's actually pretty cool. Germans usually hide the pickle ornament in the tree and the first one to find it either gets to open their presents first or gets an extra gift from Santa. I had fun exploring Christmas tree and their traditions, but that's all for now. Bye!